Frugal Things We Do, living on an income of under $100,000 in the middle of USA with two young kids. I'm 35. My husband is almost 40. We're going to get into it. First off, my kids normally have hand-me-downs of some sort. They're always in really good shape. Nobody even knows their hand-me-downs. We have cousins on both sides of our family that have great boutique style clothes that they always give us hand-me-downs. So we have hand-me-downs, garage sales, thrift stores. My girls wear a ton of those clothes. They don't know any different. I, as their mom, I shop at thrift stores all the time. Like they don't know any different and they always look very cute. Anytime we go to church or events and they're all dressed up, nobody would know it was a secondhand dress ever. And whenever I tell them where they got it, they're like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, they don't sell rags there. They sell regular clothes. Another place I like to get my girls' stuff whenever we're out and about, they're called bin stores. It's called like bin shopping or whatever. What it is is like um, last year's inventory, say at like Target or wherever big stores, and they just throw out this all this extra inventory that they don't need anymore. So you go to these bin stores and they're like $2, $3 for each item, whatever. But they're brand new clothes with tags still on them. They just didn't get sold last season. So I love going to those stores. Me and my sister get together. We love going there because you just, it's kind of like you don't know what you're going to get till you go there. Kind of like a garage sale, but there everything is new, but it doesn't bother me if it's used anyways. But we really like the bin stores too. Um, Google bin store near me and a lot of them you'll see they're from like Amazon, Target, all over and they're really, really fun. Next one, um, how we keep frugal also. So a lot of times I will buy refurbished electronics. If I can find a phone that has been refurbished, rebuilt by the factory and I can buy it for usually less than half of what a new one is. I usually go the refurbished route. It has a warranty just like a new phone would. It has all the bells and whistles just like all the other, but they've got the bug out from whatever used to be in it. That's why it's refurbished. I bet eight out of my 10 phones I've ever bought have been refurbished and I've never had issues with them. I just upgrade them whenever I decide I want a newer, better version, just like we all do. Next one, restaurants. Whenever we go out to eat, my kids get water and we usually try and go on kids nights. Like whenever we go to like Applebee's, we'll try and go on a Wednesday where we live. It's 99 cent kids meals. So we're getting way more. We can usually eat for 30 bucks for a family of four. If there's drinks and stuff involved, it's more like, you know, for my husband, if he wants an alcohol drink, whatever. But we try and just do uh, free drinks. If they come with the kids' meals, they can get a drink, but if not, we do waters. That helps a ton because if not, it's $2.99 a drink. I mean, that adds up really, really quick. Another really great resource we like to use, especially for our kids, are the resources around our community. Um, we have chamber events and such. They'll do like kids night where they do a big event at the library. They'll do some places at, like gymnastics and all that where they're either free events or they're really, really cheap. They do one that's like kids night out and it's like 10 bucks a kid that gets to go and it's like two or three hours and you drop them off, they eat, they have a good time, and then the parents get to go out. And it's like 10 bucks a kid. So it's still cheaper than going and buying a babysitter. And me and my husband get a date night. So it's a win-win. But they also do like firehouse days where you get to go like tour the firehouse. There's all sorts of free events. Check out like your chamber or your community center. They usually have a ton of free events going on, especially on the weekends and in the summer. Speaking of summer, we get an app every single summer, me and my twin, we live in Kansas. We get to go all over the state of Kansas in the summer one time, depending on where it is, one time, say we wanna to go to like a museum in Topeka or something in Kansas City. You type in where you're going and they've got tons of free events that you get to do by showing this app. So what me and my sister do is we get a hotel, us and all of our girls, which there's four girls, plus me and my twins, so there's six girls, we just go on this several day trip and we hit up all these fun little spots and it's kind of like, I don't want to say a free vacation because we're still paying for hotels and stuff like that, but it's much cheaper and the cousins get to hang out. It's a win-win. Drop in the comments, which one is your favorite? Do you do it or will you be utilizing it with your family? And as always, don't forget to follow and like.